The NASCAR Truck Series race has concluded at Atlanta Motor Speedway, and we see Christian Eck has picked up his first win of the 2023 Truck Series season. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. I just got done watching the Truck Series race at Atlanta Motor Speedway, the Freight Auctions 208. We got a little bit to talk about from this race, so let's go ahead and talk about it. So we're just going to have a really quick a race review here for the second. So let's talk about the winner of the race. Christian Neckes picks up his first win with a new organization, picks up McAnally Hilgeman's first win as an organization. Christian Eckes had a very strong day, in my opinion. Won stage one, got a lot of points today, and he's been very, very fast. Coming into the year, I had picked Christian Eck as a driver, thought was going to win a race or two. I'm not sure his team was really going to perform, but Christian Eck is the driver who can get the best out of equipment, and for him to get his first win in his NASCAR first win of the season, his second career truck series victory, because this is his first win since Las Vegas with Door Sport Racing back in 2021. Happy for him. Congratulations to Christian Eck on picking up the victory. So now, let's go through the rest of the results, and I'll give you my score for today's race. So, Christian Atkins picks up the victory. Nick Sanchez finished the second. Great run from Nick Sanchez. A great comeback from Nick Sanchez, nonetheless. Nick Sanchez got spun out earlier in the race because Corey Heim got in the back of Nick Sanchez because Nick Sanchez might have broken something. But he bounced back to finish in second place. Fantastic run for Nick Sanchez. John Hunter Nemechek finishes in third. Great finish for John Hunter Nemechek. Top five. Got into Jackwood earlier in the race, but he still finished in the top five, nonetheless. He'll be looking to win the Xfinity Series race later today. Bailey Curry finishes fourth. Great run from Bailey Curry. He was a driver I thought could have won this race today. It was up front because ending up there. And for him to get a top five finish when we don't know really the long-term future of Bailey Curry, a great outing to show what he's capable of doing. He gets a fourth-place finish. How about Matt Benedetto finishing fifth? Matty D ran top five and top ten a lot of the day. Kind of fell back early, but bounces back to get a top five finish. Another solid day. Great run from Matt Benedetto. Ben Rose finishes sixth. Ben Rose is up front near the end of the race and gets a really strong sixth place finish. Great for him from him. Timmy Hill finishes seventh. How about that for him? Timmy Hill, a great finish today. Top 10. I think that's his first top 10 of the 2023 season. So great run from Timmy Hill. Chase Purdy finishes eighth. Chase Purdy, I think, is really starting to slightly become the real deal. I was not sure he was going to be with Kyle Busch Motorsports, but I've seen some really good promise from Chase Purdy so far, and he gets a very good top 10 finish. Good run from Chase Purdy. Matt Crafton finishes knife, one stage two, and bounced back to finish knife. Got some damage near the end of the race, but he finishes knife nonetheless. Great run from him. Jack Wood bounced back after getting spun by John Harnemacek. I think he had a better truck than John Harnemacek near the end of the race, but gets a top 10 finish. I've been really hard on Jack Wood over the years, but to get a top 10 is great for him. Um, Ty Majeski finishes 11. Ty Majeski had a top 10 truck a lot of the day, but gets a 11th place finish. Saw a run for him. Haley Deegan finishes 12th. Good run for her, all things considered. I know that she expected to run a lot better, but for her to come out of this weekend really with no damage on her truck and to finish in the top 15, that's all you can ask for. I need to see her form a lot better, though. She wasn't really a fast truck in the race, ran outside the top 20 a lot of the day, but nonetheless, she kept her nose clean, did the best she could, and she finishes in 12th. I need to see better performances for her, but she finishes 12th. Saw a run for her at the end of the day. Brett Holmes finishes in 13th. Saw a top 15 run for him. Ryan Vargas finishes 14th. How about that for Ryan Vargas? The first, one of the few first few races we've seen Ryan Vargas make so far this season. And so for him to get a top 15 with On Point Motorsports, great run from him. Chris Wright finishes 15th. Not a bad run for him. Daniel Dye, who had issues early in the race, rebounds and recovers to finish in 16th. That's his best finish of the year so far. I hope they can figure out some of the issues they've had with that 43 truck because he had so many truck issues so far. So he finishes 16th nonetheless. Not a bad run. How about Akinori Ogata finishing 17th? A great rebound for Akinori Ogata. Akinori Ogata spun out with around 50 laps to go. was running in the top 20 at that point. Great recovery from Akinori Ogata. Jake Garcia finishes 18th. Not a bad run for him. Grant Enfinger finishes in 19th. Spencer Boyd finishes 20th. Zane Smith got involved in one of the late wrecks on the last lap. There's a late last lap wreck that he was involved in. He finishes 21st. Stuart Friesen was up front as well, got involved in that late wreck. He finishes 22nd. Josh Ryun finishes 23rd. Tanner Gray finishes 24th. Roger Kruv finishes 25th. Top break for Roger Kruv got involved in the last lap wreck. Roger Kruv is up there contending for the win at the end of the race. Unfortunate finish for him. That's his best finish of the year in 25th. And 25th, I'd say. 
Uh, actually, Roger finished 24th. Ben Rose finished 25th. Tyler Anka finished 26th. Colby Howard finished 27th. Lane Riggs finishes the 28th after being multiple laps down after getting involved in an early wreck. Mason Massey finishes 29th. Dean Thompson, 30th. Carson Ozobari had a crash earlier, finishes 31st. Wall Sound finishes 32nd. Candy Honeycutt, who led a lap early, tough break for Candy Honeycutt. He was really fast early, has some sort of electrical problem that put him way too far off the pace. He finished 33rd. Corey Heim, after getting turned by Nick's, getting in the back of Nick Sanchez after Nick Sanchez missed a shift or had a broken part, he finishes 34th. Mason Maju finishes 35th, and Keith McGee finishes last in 36th. So now, let's talk about the race overall. I'll be honest with you guys, this is probably my least favorite race of the year so far. And there were good moments in this race for sure. He had some solid racing near the end, but the race direction was not very good in my opinion. It just felt like that they were not doing a great job. They wasted a lot of caution laps. I thought the, the Fox booth did a really just overall not a great job either, and I thought it was just a little bit frustrating to watch today. But there was some good racing, but not the greatest racing in the world, and a little bit of controversial finish nonetheless. But I want to say congratulations to Christian Eckes on getting his first win in 2023, and overall, it was not a great race for me, though. I'm going to give today's truck race overall a 3 out of 10. Just wasn't a mo actually give it a I'll give it a five out of ten. Wasn't the greatest race in the world. Probably my least favorite race of the year so far. Hoping the Xfinity Series race coming up later today can be better, but nonetheless, that is the Xfinity the Truck Series race review from Atlanta. So, anyways, that is gonna be for the Truck Race review at Atlanta Motor Speedway. I want to thank guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel. Notifications on so you know if I win a video, I just go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram and support me on Patreon as well. Link description below with that. And comment below your thoughts below on today's race review. What are thoughts on today's truck race? Let me know below. Let me know your score in the comments below. And congratulate Christian Eckes on winning at Atlanta. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. We'll have the Xfinity Series race to be up later today after the Xfinity Series race concludes. Tomorrow on the channel, we're going to have the starting lineup video for the Cup race at Atlanta. And we will also have the race review from Atlanta as well for the Cup race on the channel. And then Monday and Tuesday, we'll have a lot of NASCAR news. we got some news to discuss here coming up. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. And I'll see you guys next time for some more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.